Hey, what is up guys? How are we doing? And welcome back to another video. And today's gonna be a short one because I get so many questions all of the time and I'm not exaggerating this. Let's be honest, I normally exaggerate some things, but not the amount of questions I've got about what's going on with my computer in the background and all the monitor reviews and all of these things. I always have a moving desktop wallpaper, which of course you can't really do in Windows. So how am I doing it? Well, it's actually really simple, but it will cost you a small amount of money. Not much though, all you need to do is go to Steam and you need to find something called Wallpaper Engine. And this costs around about £2.50 here in the UK, you'll find it in the software section. I think it's probably the best selling software on Steam, but uh, that's going a little bit off topic. And all you need to do is pay and install this, it's not a very big download at all. And then this uses your graphics card and your processor, but in tiny, tiny amounts, we're talking less than 1% to actually uh, make your desktop wallpaper move. And you can get a load of different cool ones, so you've seen quite a few different ones uh, on the channel. We can make a little playlist, and I'll leave the ones I use down in the description below for you. And it's just really clever because it's very subtle, but it's a way of making your setup just that little bit more clean, I guess, because you can have things like the Star Wars one behind me, where at first glance it doesn't really look like that much is going on, but it just adds that little bit of life to your setup. The thing I really like about it is just how many there are to choose from, because this is a Steam Workshop uh, bit of software, there are literally endless amounts uh, that you can download and install yourself, or you can make them yourself as well, which I probably will have a go at some point. I tried doing it and it turned out a little bit funny, and I guess it requires a few hours of actually uh, getting used to it but you can add sort of like warping effects you can make water shimmer and move you can add particles which are probably the most overused thing uh, in wallpaper engine but you can also grab a movie and then turn that into a wallpaper as well but should you actually go ahead and do this well for two pounds fifty i really don't think that there's any reason not to because when you're not actually on your desktop then the resources will be freed up and it won't actually be moving your uh, wallpaper at all which does ask the question how useful this actually is obviously for me when i'm filming in the background it's incredibly useful because it adds just that little bit more interest um, to the background of the shots without it being too crazy and full on having a movie uh, going on or something but if i was actually just using my computer then i probably wouldn't really see them all that often but then again, there's loads of us that will probably be uh, writing something down on a notepad. People still do that. Doing something else in the room, listening to music, all of these things. And if that is you and you do often have your desktop wallpaper open, then this is highly recommended and you can go and check it out. But that's all this video was all about. I know you can go and do something else. Happy Saturday if this is actually Saturday by the time this goes up. I know. Incredible, right? Um, I will be doing a full setup video that goes through different tips to actually get everything looking nice and clean. Um, cat is a given, um, well trained of course, uh, but that's a topic for another day. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you want to see my full video of this setup behind me, that's linked uh, in the top right hand corner of your screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.